All right, let's go ahead and find our places, if you would. We need to start on time tonight. If there's, uh, let's fill in all of our gaps, all of our places tonight, if you would, please. Preachers, if you'd want to join us on the platform, we'd love to have you on the platform with us tonight. All of our preachers, visiting preachers, pastors, amen. Amen. Let's come on in, find our places quickly, please. Heritage Group, why don't you come up and sit on the platform for us tonight, all right? OBI Group, come on up and sit on the platform with us tonight. Appreciate these young preachers, they've been a big help to us. Come on up. All right, this morning we voted for Mr. and Miss Youth Camp. So if I get your attention, we're gonna call those nominees out for Mr. and Miss Youth Camp and we'll um, have them come forward. So when I call your name, when I call your name, would you make your way to the uh, platform this evening? All right. So for our boys, nominees for Mr. Youth Camp, we have Trace Adair. We have Reagan Pinson. All right. We also have Travis Adair. And then we have Silas Bergalt. Uh, guys, stand over here, please. Come over on this side. Okay, we also have Graydon Webb. Trace has been immediately disqualified because he did not laugh at one of my jokes earlier. Hey, it's a serious thing when I tell a joke. Actually, he revealed to us now that he won two years ago. So it was such a memorable event that we, in our life, that we forgot about that. Girls, we have Ruthie Lloyd. We have Caitlin Binner.
Lacey Kirkpatrick. Holly Spinks. Where's she at? Holly? I'm trying to read it. It's, it's, we're glad you're part of this. Give her a good hand, would you? I'm sorry, I mis uh, mispronounced your name. These are your nominees for Mr. and Miss Youth Camp for 2024. I want you guys to just give your name and church you're from, your pastor maybe. My name is Reagan Pinson, and I go to Bible Holiness Assembly of God, and my pastor is Pastor Rio. My name is Silas Bergal, and I go to OBI, or Bible Holiness, and my pastor is Timothy Laredo. I'm Travis Ader. I'm Travis Ader from Bethel Chapel, and my pastor is David Broom. I'm Graydon Webb from Keen Mountain Holiness Church. My pastor is Randy Webb. Kirkpatrick, I'm from Bible Holiness, and my pastor is Brother Laredo. Caitlin Benner from New Ocean, Missouri, my pastor is Timothy Laredo. Ruthie Lloyd from Bond Holiness, and my pastor is Kevin Lloyd. My name is Hallie Spinks, I'm from Harbor Lots Temple, my pastor is Ryan Marquis. You're shaking. All right, give him a good hand. We'll be voting on them tomorrow. And we got that. You guys can go down now unless you want to stay here. I'm sorry. All right. I want to take a few moments here as we get started this evening and uh, just uh, talk with you a little bit about uh, the burden we have here at Sunset Hill and what, it, what this camp means to us. As I said earlier in the week, this is our 66th youth camp, 66th youth camp. And uh, God's helped us and blessed us. There's been a lot of changes made in the camp over the years and through the years. And uh, by the grace of God, we want to continue to uh, see the camp grow, right, and uh, expand and, and improve our facilities and, and make things nicer for you all. I appreciate the fact that so many of you are willing to come. I understand that, that our facilities sometimes are, are rustic and they're not the best, and uh, you're not staying in a, like, motel-quality rooms, unless you're in the boys' dorm. It's getting pretty close there, but... Uh, but we, I understand that, that, it's, that it's rustic. I understand there's, uh, it's, it's camp, you know. But and I appreciate the fact that you're willing to come and in some cases uh, endure the, the difficult places that we put you. But you're great. You're, you're very understanding. And I appreciate that so much. But as you look around the campground, there is so much, as so many buildings, so much that we have here that we need, and I feel like as good stewards of what God has given us, that we need to be, uh, take care of what we have. Some have asked, Brother David, what are you going to, what, what's the next big project? Well, the, I feel like uh, one of the main things we need to do is be able to care for the facilities that we have, that we can upgrade that we can continue to maintain them and keep them in good quality condition. And uh, that we, it's, it's great. We, we air conditioned the boys' dorm. How many of you boys enjoying that? Isn't that much better? Much better. Yep. 
And uh, it, it would even be a little bit nicer in there if you guys would close the door when you walk out. But uh, that's, uh, that's all right. That's a grandpa thing. Not a big deal. Uh, but we've air conditioned that, and we want, we want to continue to improve our facilities. To do that, uh, it, takes, it takes finances. And so I just want to appeal to you tonight that you would help us in this regard. And uh, what I wanted to felt to establish for the campground is a maintenance fund for the camp. This would be used to upkeep what we already have, because I feel like that is that it's important that we maintain uh, what God has given us and continue to upgrade and to make it even nicer. And so, for the legacy of the camp and for the long uh, vision of the camp, uh, I would love to see the Lord just provide for us uh, the finances to uh, continue to maintain these buildings. Some of these buildings that we have, some of you are maybe are staying in a cabin, and those cabins, uh, most of those cabins are older than I am, and that's that's quite a quite a quite a ways. The tabernacle, the boys' dorm, which used to be our tabernacle, is older. It's it's older than it's back to the first youth camp, so it's older than I am, and uh, that's those buildings. We're built to last, and we want to continue to take care of them. And uh, you can imagine what the cost would be for us to replace the boys' dorm in today's money. And so we want to be able to maintain that and take care of that. So I really felt t t tonight that I wanted to approach you about helping us establish and continue to increase the maintenance fund of the camp. And uh, I had a pastor approach me today and asked me, we talked about this, and uh, he wanted to make a contribution of $5,000 to that, to that fund, to establish that fund right from the start. And uh, maybe he, his thought was that maybe there would be others that would want to step up and to match that as well. And that, I, I'm overwhelmed with the generosity of, of all the people of our, that attend Sunset Hill Campground and how you uh, rally around this, this grounds and help us because I'm telling you, there is no way that Bethel Chapel can do it on its own. That's just not possible. We need you, uh, your help and your support. And uh, Bethel Chapel uh, has given and given and given and they continue to give without, without Reservation. They they're they're totally committed to the camp, and uh, this year we did peanut brittle, raised over twenty thousand dollars selling peanut brittle to help with the expenses of the campground, and so I appreciate all of those that worked so hard. Uh, to and some of you, some of your churches, uh, bought the peanut brittle, and maybe you've enjoyed the. Peanut. If you haven't had our peanut brittle. You know, it has to be pretty good to sell $20,000 worth of it, right? It has to be pretty good stuff. So you might want to get your order in quickly for that. If they're going quickly. They're flying off the shelf. Anyway, but, but so Beth Chapel is behind it. They want to support this. And uh, I'm going to ask you tonight if there's something that you would want to do. If the church, your church, uh, individual, if you'd be willing to assist us, and I want these, these, you guys can set your buckets down real quick, quickly, okay, and come up here. I want you to help me with these. What we're going to do is I've got, a, I've got a card here. Now, I'll tell you what. This is cutting edge right here. How many of you know what a QR code is? Everybody under 30 knows what a QR code is, right? Okay. So if you're a young person, you're sitting next to an adult that gets this and says, what do I do? All right, I want you to I want you to help them out. But this card is a QR code, and if you can take your your cell phone and you can take your camera, scan that QR code, and it'll take you to a website that's connected to the to the camp, and you can follow the instructions right here, and you can give to the camp. I know a lot of times nowadays we come to we we come to uh, camp. We don't even have dollars anymore. No money. 
no cash, no checks, we have cards. Here's your opportunity you can give. We're using your credit card, you can establish uh, the frequency, the amount, what you'd want to do. And you know what, what I felt today is if I could have a number of people that would even commit to $20 a month, that's a little more than your Starbucks, all right? $20 a month, and if you would commit to that, we, we, you know, we could, uh, we could really help. It would go a long way for the maintenance of the camp. And if you would tonight just make a, take your time and do that, and you can scan that on your phone and establish that tonight. And I believe the Lord will help us get that going forward, all right? And if you would help us do that, it would be, it would be a great blessing to us and uh, we'd be able to continue to maintain the campground and continue to make things nice. There's constantly roofs that need to be repaired and replaced and, and uh, the AC units are getting some age on them and we're, we're band-aiding and replacing and trying to get them through. So we just really need the Lord to provide for us so that we can uh, keep, this, keep this building cool, right? Want this to stay cool for sure, right? And uh, I know the young people like that. So while they're getting passing those out, if you just hold your hand up and let them know that you would like to have one of the, you don't have to give one to everybody, but if they just want, if, uh, if they would like to have one, just hold your hand up, all right? And you can pass those out to them, young men, all right? All right, do we have, why don't you play something there for me? Just a moment, brother. All right. All right, we're going to come to you for the offering this evening. Amen. Would you just stand with me and let's pray and ask the Lord to bless the camp. Would you do that? Amen. That God would meet the needs for the camp right now. Dear Jesus, Lord, we love you. God, we thank you, God, that you provided such a wonderful campground. Amen. For this generation, Lord, God, that they can uh, have a place to come, that they can meet with you, Lord, that they can establish convictions in their life and meet with you and have their life changed, Lord. God, establish their walk with the Lord. God, we're thankful for what you did in our altar services. We ask you, Lord, God, bless the camp and we'll give you glory and we'll give you the praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Brothers, you can receive the offering. Amen. Brother Trey, we're going to turn it to you, brother. Praise the Lord. Well, isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord once again? Amen, to feel the presence of the Lord. My, hasn't the Lord been good to us this week so far? You know, I was uh, thinking earlier today, we started off Monday night, and uh, we started off with clapping our hands in worship. And you know, I know that may seem a little strange sometimes, just to do that as a standalone. We're used to clapping when someone's singing. We're used to clapping at other times, but sometimes it may seem a little strange to some while we would clap our hands as a standalone way of worship. But do you know that clapping our hands is biblical? Amen. We find that if you go into the Word of God, we can find examples of clapping your hands. I know you think this is a weird way to start service. Well, so be it. This is how we're going to start service tonight. This is what it felt like. Isaiah 55 and 12, it said, For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace, the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. So we've got examples in Scripture of what, it, what the writer here calls the trees clapping their hands. Well, we know trees don't have actual hands, 
But what he was saying was the noise that the trees make is like clapping of hands. It's worship. That's what it comes forth as. You can go to Psalms 98 and 8, and it says, Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together. And so we know that the writer here, we know that waters don't have physical hands that they can clap. And so what is he meaning? He's referring back to something else. He's saying the sound that they're making is a sound that's coming forth as worship and praise. We can go to Psalms 47 and 1, and that's where we come across the verse that we all know and quote. He there says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Do you know what? I believe it's okay for us to start off and clap our hands in worship. Someone can give a performance out in the world and people clap their hands in appreciation for that performance. Someone can do something of great significance and the world will clap their hands in appreciation to that person because they've accomplished something great. But when we come into the house of the Lord and we say, oh, clap your hands, all you people, I'm not clapping for you. You're not clapping for me. But when we put our hands together in worship, that is us saying, Lord, I just want to take some time and give you appreciation because you've been good to me. I'm not doing it as, a, as just showing off. This is not something I'm doing for somebody to look at me. But when I clap my hands, I'm saying, Lord, Lord, I'm going to take what you've given me and I'm going to give that back to you in worship. I'm going to give that back to you in praise and I'm going to recognize that you are God, that you are great, that you've done great and mighty things and I'm going to do everything that I can to give you worship and to give you glory and to give you praise. So I wonder tonight if we could do as this verse says and clap our hands and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. I think it's okay to start out with praise. It's okay because the Bible says, still says that I am going to enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. Oh, why don't we just take a moment right here at the beginning of the service and say, Lord, I'm going to give you everything I've got. I'm going to give you my best praise. I'm going to give you my best worship because you've been good to me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Did you feel the atmosphere change in here? It's not because you're clapping your hands. It's what's coming from your heart. I wonder what would happen if we just for a few minutes at the beginning of the service said, I'm not worried about what anybody else thinks. This is between me and God. And I'm going to let him know at the beginning of this service tonight, Lord, I'm giving everything over to you. And I'm going to recognize that you've been a good God to me. You've been faithful to me. You've been a savior to me. You've been a baptizer to me. You've been a healer to me. You've been a restorer of the broken to me and I'm going to give you glory because you're a good God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Brother Dawson, if you would, come lead us in a song tonight. Let's get in, let's worship. Long years ago, Went out in sin I had no hope No peace within Down on my knees In agony I prayed to Jesus And he gladly set me free I never shall Forget the day When all the burdens Of my soul rolled away It makes me happy Glad and free Sing and shout it for he's everything to me. Now I can feel him by my side. My feeble steps, he comes to guide. He comforts me when trials come. I never shall forget the day when all the 
burdens of my soul rolled away. It makes me happy, glad, and free. I'll sing and shout it, for he's everything to me. Oh, sinner, come to Jesus now at his dear feet. Just humbly bow, confess to him your every sin. He'll save and cleanse you, give you peace and joy within. I never shall forget the day when all the burdens of my soul rolled away. It makes me happy, glad, and free. Long years ago, when I out in sin, I had no hope, no peace within. Down on my knees in agony, I prayed to Jesus and he gladly set me free. I never shall forget the day when all the burdens of my soul rode away. It makes me happy, glad, and free. I'll sing and shout it for he's everything to me. I never shall forget the day when all the burdens of my soul rode away. It makes me happy, glad, and free. I'll sing and shout it for he's everything to me. Now I can feel him by my side, my feeble steps. He comes to guide. When trials come, he comforts me. Through faith in him or sin, I have the victory. I never shall forget the day when all the burdens of my soul rode away. He makes me happy, glad, and free. Now I can feel him by my side, my feeble steps, he comes to God, he, he comforts me, through faith in him or sin, I have the victory, I never shall forget the day, when all the burdens of my soul rode away, it makes me happy, glad and free. Oh, sinner, come to Jesus now at his dear feet. Just humbly bow. Confess to him your every sin. He'll save and cleanse you, give you peace and joy within. I never shall forget that day when all the burdens of my soul rode away. Long years ago, when out in sin, I had no hope, no peace within. Down on my knees in agony, I prayed to Jesus and he gladly set me free. I never shall forget the day when all the burdens of my soul rode away. It makes me happy, glad, and free. Long years ago, when out in sin, I had no hope, no peace within. I prayed to Jesus and he gladly set me free. I never shall forget the day when all the burdens of my soul rode away. It makes me happy, glad and free. Now I can feel him by my side. My feeble steps, he comes to guide. When trials come, he comforts me. Through faith in him or sin, I have the victory. Oh, I never shall forget the day when all the burdens of my soul rode away. It makes me happy, glad, 
set him free. I'll sing and shout him for he's everything to me. Now I can feel him by my side. My feeble steps, he comes to God. When trials come, he comforts me. Through him, I'll oh, come on, sing it. I never shall forget the day when all the burdens of my soul rolled away. It makes me happy, glad and free. Oh, hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise here tonight. Aren't you thankful for the day that he saved your soul? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm thankful for the blood of Jesus. Oh, I'm thankful for the salvation that we've been given so freely. Oh, I'm glad to be saved and set free here tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Choir, if you would, be making your way this way. Hallelujah, make your way quickly. Praise the Lord. Brother Brim said to sing both songs, so we'll just start with don't start praying. I don't have any voice. That's what praying does. You know? <laughs> Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you what, no matter what, don't stop praying. Hallelujah. You're impossible, you're, I need a miracle. What well, it's got to barely hang by a single thread. Oh, one seems so hopeless now, one plays down your heart without. You beg for a breakthrough, but no sign of breakthrough yet. You cried and you cried and you and the answer won't come and you don't know why You wonder if you can bow your head Even one more time Don't stop praying Don't stop calling on Jesus' name Keep on pounding on heaven's door Let your knees wear out the floor Don't stop believing just a little thing, and your father's heard every single word you're saying. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Don't stop calling on Jesus' name. Keep on pounding on heaven's door. Let your knees wear out the floor. Don't stop believing Cause mountains move with just a little faith And your father's heard every single word you're saying Don't stop praying What well, is your impossible, your I need a miracle What well, is God you barely hanging by a single thread. Hey, yeah. What seems so hopeless now, and what weighs down your heart without? You beg for a breakthrough, but no sign of breakthrough yet. You cried and you 
cry till your tears run dry And the answer won't come and you don't know why And you wonder if you can bow your head even one more time Don't stop praying Don't stop calling on Jesus' name Keep on pounding on heaven's door Let your knees wear out the floor don't stop believing Cause mountains move with just a little faith And your father's heard every single word You're saying Don't stop praying He's close to the broken heart And saves those who are crushed in spirit The Alpha and Omega Knows how the story begins and you cry till your tears run dry The answer won't come and you don't know why You wonder if you can bow your head Even one more time Don't stop praying Don't stop calling on Jesus' name Keep on pounding on heaven's door Let your knees wear out the floor Don't stop believing Mountains move with just a little faith And your father's heard every single word You're saying Don't stop praying He's close to the broken hearted Saves those who are crushed in spirit The Alpha and Omega knows Just how the story ends Cried and you cry till your tears run dry. The answer won't come and you don't know why. You wonder if you can bow your head even one more time. Don't stop praying. Don't stop calling on Jesus' name. Keep on pounding on heaven's door. Let your knees wear out the floor. Don't stop believing. Cause mountains move with just a little faith And your father's heard every single word You're saying Don't stop praying Well, it's your impossible Your I need a miracle What has got you barely hanging by A single thread what seems so hopeless now What weighs down your heart with down Oh, you beg for a breakthrough But no sign of breakthrough yet yeah, yeah. You cry and you cry till your tears run dry The answer won't come and you don't know why You wonder if you can bow your head Even one more time Don't stop praying Don't stop calling on Jesus' name, keep on pounding on heaven's door, and let your knees wear out the floor, don't stop believing, cause mountains move with just a little faith, and your father's heard every single word, you're saying, don't stop praying. Don't stop, 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 don't st
singing that last song and I'm just going to take a second but young people we can pray my brother was backslid for 15 years I did, that's as long as I about knew it I, he backslid when I was about 4 years old he's a lot older than I am when I came to you know the realization I got saved at a young age and God burdened my heart to pray for him and I'm not saying it was anything in me but praying 15 years for my brother every single day and I can tell you about a little bit over a year ago, he walked into Bristol Hole in his church. He threw his hands up in the air, and he gave his life back to God. Yeah, he's got a long ways to go, but he texted me just last night. He said, I've been dealing with the depression, you know, because a backslider's got to go through a journey. He said, I've been dealing with that, but I feel like I can go to sleep tonight. I feel like God's been sanctifying my life. He sent me a picture of a TV all busted up by a baseball bat because God can do something. You ain't got to stop praying. We stop praying too soon. Fifteen years sounds like a long time, but brother, it's worth it because I'm going to walk the streets of gold with my brother Dale. I'm telling you tonight, we ain't got to stop praying. We ain't got to give up on the prodigals. We ain't got to give up on the miracles. I tell you, he's a wonder. He's still a wonder. He can do great and mighty wonders in this house tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, thank you. Oh, 
I heard about how he healed the sick. He is a wonder. He is a wonder. Yeah. In my soul. And I heard about how he calmed the sick. He is a wonder. He is a wonder. In my soul. And I heard about how he raised the dead. He is a wonder. He is a wonder.
and say, I've got to say, you didn't save your soul, save my life, you could have gone to hell, broke my chains, but no, no, brought me out, I'm not seen him do it. Oh, well, I've seen him do it. I've tried him. I've tried him. I know I've it. I've seen him do it. I've seen him do it. Yes, I've seen him do it. Oh, I've tried him. I've tried him. I know him. I know it. I've seen him do it. I've seen him do it. Yes, I've seen him do it. Oh, he healed the sick. Raised the dead. Five thousand souls were So wonder in my Praise God, praise God. Has he been a wonder to your soul? Praise God. I'm thankful for the goodness of the Lord. Well, at this time, we're going to turn the service over to the Meadow family. We want them to come at this time, sing, preach, whatever they feel. If we could, could we stretch our hands toward heaven? Ask the Lord to anoint the remainder of this service. Lord, we love you. God, we thank you for your presence that we feel so wonderfully here tonight. God, we ask that you would have your perfect will and way in the remainder of this service, Lord. Anoint everything said and done. Meet us in these altars, and we'll give you the glory and the praise. Amen. amen. Well, if you're happy and you know it, say amen. Woo, hallelujah. How many is glad you're in church tonight? It's going to be a long night. Amen. Amen. How many's really, I won't you say it like somebody sitting next to you don't know if they should have showed up at church tonight or not. How many's glad you're in the house of the Lord tonight? Amen. Amen. Praise God. I appreciate everything that's been done and said and sung up until this point. I believe God has helped us in powerful ways. I do believe that we could go a little deeper tonight. Amen. I believe there's some victories that still has yet to be won. I believe there's some experiences that has yet to be had, and I came tonight just to push for an altar service and to go right where God wants us to be.